Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to jump right into it and start with my base for my eyes. So I'm going to use this LA Girl Pro Conceal and blend it out with my concealer brush. I'm going to blend it all over to my brow bone area. And to blend it out all properly, I just get my Real Techniques beauty sponge and pat that in. And then I have this brush here and just pat on my lid as it has the Air Sponge Translucent Powder on it just to set my concealer. So next up I am using my Morphe palette 35S. And I'm using a light creamy pink shade for my transition colour. I have to say, it is very, very rare that I do a cut crease. I think the last time I've done it was months and months ago. I hardly do them. They are time consuming. And yes, they do make your hands ache. Because all that blending and applying the colour and ugh, everything. But at the end of the result, it is good. And I think this is like maybe my third or fourth time doing a cut crease. So bear with me. I am trying to get more better at it. But yeah. <laughs> so now I'm using a purpley plum colour to go in my crease area. And now I'm going in with a shimmery burgundy colour. Here I'm taking a black but only a touch of the black because obviously the Morphe palettes are really pigmented and all you need is a tiny bit and just blend it all out and I'm doing this quite harsh as it is a cut crease and I will be putting the concealer to make my cut crease shape. So when you're doing a cut crease you do need a lot of product on your eyes because the concealer is just going to cancel most of that out and make it really sharp and neat. So now I'm going with my Zoeva 226 smudger brush and I'm just going to shape my cut crease. I'm just going to continue to do my shape, the shape I want and then obviously flick it out right at the end, make it really sharp and nice. And at the end of all that, once I've got my shape, I just neaten it up.
And now I'm just going to set that concealer with the Air Spun Translucent Powder. And now I'm going to do the exact same on the other side. Okay, and now that's done. I've done my eyeliner off camera and I'm using a Technic Cosmetics Mascara. We're applying Elma Lashes off camera as well, but here is one i done. I'm just doing the other one for you. Now I'm going ahead and to smoke out my under eyes, so I'm using all the colours that I used on my crease area. And if anyone does have a good suggestion for an eyeliner, please comment below, I would love to know. So now I'm using my LA Girl Endless Eyeliner. And uh, yeah, it's the one that goes in your waterline. So yeah, this is so pigmented. But, woo, I love this. I always use it. It is amazing. And it's cheap as well, which is good. <laughs> Very affordable. And now I'm using my MUA Cosmetics Shimmer Highlighter and I'm going to put that in the corners of my eyes along with Inaka Cosmetics Shimmer Eyeshadow which is gold, ugh, which is called Gold Dust which is amazing, so, so pigmented. And yeah, so I just applied that, you can see that glow and then I go back in with my MUA Cosmetic on my cheeks and then I go back in with my Inaka Cosmetics Shimmer Eyeshadow on my brow bone. It's coming up to the end of the video now. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on my next one.